A breakaway neck lanyard for the Mork and Eve Elder set contains an emergency fire starter, compass, and sewing kit, starting with the compass by adapting a sewing needle. Most metals are not magnetic. Some common exceptions are iron, nickel, and cobalt. The needle containing iron has atoms in random alignment to one another. This causes their magnetic fields to cancel each other out. Exposing the needle to a strong magnetic field causes the iron atoms to align and become magnetized. The magnet is rubbed against the needle five to ten times, always in the same direction. Adapting the magnetized needle into a sewing kit by adding strong thread. Running the jute through beeswax improves the burn time and binds the jute. I'm using about 94 centimeters or about a yard of 550 paracord for the lanyard. I clip the end of the paracord to hold the fibers in place. I then tie the jute and threaded needle to the fibers at the other end of the paracord. Once tied, the jute, needle, and thread are pulled through the paracord. I release the clip, pull a length of the fibers, and work the outer housing of the paracord towards the other end. Because of the length of the paracord, this is done in several pulls. Also, placing a clip at the ends of the thread and jute will prevent them from being pulled into the end of the paracord by accident. After the needle and jute loop emerges, a 5 centimeter or 2 inch length of ferrocerium rod having a 2.38 millimeter or 3.32 inch diameter is pushed back into the paracord along with the needle and thread. Both the paracord and jute hold the needle in place beside the ferrocerium rod. I leave a very short length of paracord after the rod is inserted. I clip the end of the jute and seal the end with a flame. A clip is used to hold the ends together while the paracord end is hot. Similarly, the other end of the paracord is also sealed with a flame. A quick way to thread the paracord through the Morganeve sheath is to make a snake with some tape. There are a number of ways to make a breakaway knot. Because this lanyard has a ferrocerium rod, it can be used as part of the design. Now if you've ever whipped the end of a rope, you'll recognize this breakaway knot as a variant of the whipping knot. I'm simply whipping the ferrocerium rod. Once tied, the tension on the ferrocerium rod can be easily adjusted with the knot to meet your needs. Any roughness at the sealed end of the paracord needs to be trimmed to assure that the rod can slide through the knot. This completes the lanyard. Now to test the fire starter. Because this is a very small diameter ferrocerium rod, this is best considered an emergency fire starter. I remove the neck lanyard and untie the breakaway knot. I cut off the sealed ends of the paracord. I unravel the wax jute into finer fibers to greatly improve the likelihood of ignition with the ferrocerium rod. Fortunately, the backside of the Elders blade is designed to serve as a ferrocerium striker. This is a very simple, low cost project. Give it a try. Improve upon it. Remember to adapt, make, and be resilient.